कन्सिडर द सर्किट शोन इन द फिगर द कपैसिटर सी वन एंड सी टू हैव कपैसिडेंस टू माइक्रोफेरेड एंड एट माइक्रोफेरेड रिस्पेक्टिवली द स्विच कैन कनेक्ट पॉइंट एक्स टू ईदर वाई और जेड इनिशियली एक्स वाई इज कनेक्टेड अंटिल द कपैसिटर इज फुल्ली चार्ज बाय द बैटरी ओके इनिशियली एक्स वाई इज कनेक्टेड अंटिल द कपैसिटर इज फुल्ली चार्ज बाय द बैटरी then the switch connects x and z and the final charges on c1 and c2 are q1 and q2 respectively what is the value of the ratio q2 by q1 plus q2 and four options are that okay now what should be the approach in solving this problem first of all we'll try to understand the meaning of the word fully charged can anyone explain that to me what does fully charged mean fully charged means potential difference between plates of capacitor is equal to the well potential difference of the battery and fully charged means there is no current that is flowing okay in in between this there is no current That is uh, being referred to as fully charged. Okay, so now we assume that the potential of the battery is V. Okay, so how much will be Q1? Uh, okay, final charge is okay. So let's say Q initial. Yes, tell me now, what will be Q initial? C1 V. C1 into V correct. Okay. now after uh, that capacitor is fully charged the switch is now connecting x and z now c2 doesn't have any charge in on it net charge therefore uh, it will not have any potential difference so how long will c1 continue to lose the charge and c2 continues to gain the charge C two gains. Sir, until the uh, potential difference between both of them is equal. Yes, C two gains and C one loses until both capacitors have same potential difference across their plates. Okay, so we may call this V one equal to V two. okay but uh, when v1 is equal to v2 we know the main formula c is equal to q by v this formula suggests that we should be writing q1 by c1 equal to q2 by c2 correct q1 by c2 yes now what ratio do we want q2 by q1 plus q2 ओके okay, तो सबसे पहले तो ये इसको सी टू बाय सी वन लिखेंगे ये हो जाएगा क्यू टू बाय क्यू वन एड करेंगे आई थिंक उसके बाद एक मिनट रेसिप प्रोकल लेना चाहिए क्योंकि क्यू टू आइसोलेटेड है ओके स्टिक द रेसिप प्रोकल राइट ओके नो आफ्टर टेकिंग द रेसिप प्रोकल वी कैन एड राइट एंड देन उसका रेसे ब्रोकल फिर से एक बार लेना पड़ेगा तो सी वन प्लस सी टू बाय सी वन कितना टू प्लस एट अपॉन टू टू प्लस एट यस सर नीचे सी टू होगा ना ओ थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सी वन प्लस सी टू एडिशन वाली प्रोसेस मुझे समझ में नहीं आई वन ऑन बोथ साइड्स ओके ठीक है एड वन ऑन बोथ साइड्स आई गेस दैट्स इट स्टैंड बाय इट बट वी वांट क्यू टू बाय क्यू वन प्लस क्यू टू So that would be eight by ten or four by five. 
So the problem ends there with option A. But uh, suppose we are interested in finding the energies that these two capacitors have. Okay, let's say initial energy and the final energy. Then uh, can we have an expression for that? Okay, so specifically we are looking for three expressions here. First one is the potential energy of the first capacitor after it became fully charged by the battery. Okay, then U1 after the uh, capacitor C1 supplied enough charge so that the potential differences became equal. Okay, so that is U1 and then U2 is this. ठीक है तो क्या हम इन तीनों एक्सप्रेशंस को निकाल सकते हैं क्या और क्या हम लोगों को u इनिशियल इक्वल टू u1 प्लस u2 मिलेगा या कुछ ऐसे मिलेगा हम लोगों को फिगर आउट करना ठीक है तो कर देख के करके देखेंगे क्या हमें मिलेगा हाउ मच विल बी u इनिशियल यस हाउ मच विल बी u इनिशियल as as far as possible we will not uh, bring in this uh, v in our uh, expressions to kya uska formula ho sakta hai main formula for potential energy of capacitor is half cv square correct but c equal to q by v allows us to write v as q by c okay now once we write v as q by c this gives us q squared by 2c so u initial kya ho jayega can anybody tell me that q initial will it not be q1 plus q2 the whole squared by 2c1 and how much is c1 2 microfarad if we keep it in assignments raise your hands if you understood that okay now how much will then u1 and u2 be equal to if you look at the same formula u1 will be q1 squared by 2 into 2 mu and uh, u2 would be q2 squared by 2 into 8 microfarad yes now we have uh, used a conservation principle here and that conservation principle is that of charge correct we have used charge conservation as well otherwise uh, it's not possible to write q as q1 plus q2 theek hai charge always gets conserved theek hai so that's clear abhi ye iske bare mein sochenge u initial is there and u final is also there u1 plus u2 let's see if we can figure out which one of them is the greater one or are they equal abhi u initial ke bare mein baat karte okay lhs Let's take one upon four mu common. Q one squared plus Q two squared plus two Q one Q two. Let's take R H S now. And if I take this, it's one upon four mu into bracket Q one squared plus Q two squared by four. Follow Q two squared by four, so it's clearly showing that LHS is greater than RHS, which means U initial. Okay, U initial is greater than U one plus U two. ठीक है, so some energy is lost. Can you tell me where does that energy go? Sorry. 
yes this energy goes or rather is released outside the circuit in the form of heat now there is another question which i just that came to me and that is what if we used superconducting wires okay what if we use the superconducting wires which have zero resistance would it still emit heat because they have zero resistance hai na so let me put it here if we had superconducting wires which have zero resistance okay if we had superconducting wires okay would there be any energy loss you think about this and tell me in our next class question sabko samajh mein aaya kya we say that the difference in the energies okay the difference in the energies is taken outside because of some non conservative force okay and it happens to be heat in this case okay the circuit throws energy outside in the form of heat because of these wires okay but suppose the wires were all made of superconducting material with zero resistance would the equality hold in that case think about it and tell me okay can you do that at least yes sir shot and tell me what answer you get okay